just got home from work. Um, look what I look what I've been sent. No, it's not a beer fifty-two box. Uh, my God, I can't talk today. It's not beer fifty-two box. A beer. It's a uh, beer mail. Ten beers, home brewed beers, from our favourite brew Jew. <laughs> Peter Hodge! Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you so much. So, I'm just going to quickly run through what he sent me. So, he sent me two of his best bitters. Now, if you've been watching this channel, down below if you don't, go and subscribe. Um, Peter is considering possibly going into commercial brewing. Um, and he's been tinkering with recipes here and there. And this is one that he... It's version one, so but this is one that he's considering to sell. So he, I, I think I'm gonna have one of those today. I, I did actually, um, yeah, I, I put one in the fridge <laughs> for preparation. Um, and then the Triple X Mild, nine point five percent. So um, it's a weird one because oh, what's he said? Truman's recipe from 1860 drink after the 10th of March why the 10th of March well it's like the, the 8th today so or the 7th or something um, still in bottle conditioning I've not tried it yet <laughs> bit risky I uh, hope it's alright uh, he has tried it actually he must have written this a few days ago because I, I did, he did post a video uh, not a video uh, yeah can't talk. He, he did. He did post a picture, um, and he's. I think it was this one. He's used all pale malt. I think. Yeah, he's used all pale malt, but because of the sugar and all the rest of it, it's it's quite a dark color. Um, and it's weird because when you read nine point five percent, instantly you think I need to age that bit. Because it's a mild, you're supposed to drink milds young, and I think he wants me to drink it young, so I'll give it a go. Um, next up, Green Dragon. Um, bottle conditioned. Grist from the Bible, in English IPA. Yeah, the, these are his homegrown fuggle hops that he's, he's he put he picked on brew day. Um, to use his flavour hops, uh, bittered with Challenger, and there's some Bramling Cross in there. Quite a lot. <laughs> 233 grams of Bramling Cross, 230 grams of Fuggles. Jesus, quite a lot of hops. Um, okay, cool. Uh, next up, Strawberries and Cream Wheat Beer. Um, Anyway, if you watch these videos, you, you know, I'm not going to go into it all now. Uh, the other one, rhubarb and custard wheat. Lovely. Uh, wish he brewed to celebrate two years of brewing. Dark side of the ale. Uh, winter warmer. Ooh, ginger and honey. Very fruitcakey. I might ace that one. Um, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm just going to drink them. <laughs> Um, and then we've got a, a porter. Uh, oh, this is the one where I gave him my recipe for the founder's porter and he changed it a little. Uh, Death Star Dunkel. Munich Dunkel from the Bible. That's pretty cool. Actually, I, I really want to brew a Dunkel myself. That's, that's one of those that's been on the to-do list forever. Um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that is. Uh, and then the final beer, cranberry and wheat. So let's get one open because we're already in four minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go with this best bitter. It's been in the fridge for half an hour. Just to let it set a little bit because uh, is it bottled or kegged? Doesn't say. Oh, bottled condition. Shit, I shouldn't drink this now, should I? Uh, Hmm. Fuck it, it gave me two of them, so if I fuck it up, if it's too cloudy, blah blah blah, I've got another chance. <laughs> <clears throat> Where are 
are you? Ah, lost it. Okay. Nice case. That's lovely and carved, it's not gushing. Good, good. Let's get it in. Dun, dun, dun. Tell you what, for something that's been in transit for two, three days, bottle conditioned, that is looking spot on. Ah, it looks too dark on camera, but. It's lighter than that in real life. It looks too dark on camera. It's kind of brownie with a little bit of red in it. Ah, there you, there you go, you can kind of get it there. There, you see, that's what I'm seeing. So yeah, looking good. Best bitter, so what was he said? Bom, 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 bom. Um. English malts and hops. Damn. <laughs> okay, uh, of course it's a secret recipe, isn't it? Because this is his beer that he's potentially going to sell, so he can't give it away. That's fair enough. Smells good. Smells very good, actually. There's some chocolate malt in that, I reckon. some chocolatey caramelly malts so thank you very much peter this video is going on too long okay cheers very nice <laughs> i'd buy that i'd definitely buy that It's quite I'm trying to figure out the hops and I can't. I think there's Bramling Cross in that. That's what I'm gonna guess. It's really nice. It's quite. It's really citrusy for a best bitter. He's put something like. I don't think he's gone all traditional. Hang on. Very traditional English malts and hops. Okay, so I think he's gone with Bramling Cross. Hmm. I don't know, but that's really good. That is lovely. That is really sessionable. Uh, what what did you say? It is four point three. Yeah. You you would happily session on that on a good. Uh, let's just say spring, <laughs> in between winter and spring period. There is something different in there though. He's got a secret, secret, secret hop. I think it's Bramling Cross, I'm not sure. Okay, so yeah, so I've got another nine of these. <laughs> um, the other one, there's, a, there's another best bit, so I've got another eight videos and I'm gonna make sure Every damn one is going to get recorded. All right, so thank you very, very much. Cheers.